on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you try to do to convince me. My son is not going here anymore. Mom, no buts. Come on. We're going home. But Mrs. Midoriya, he's, he's fine. Trust me. I know. As soon as Zuku gets home, he's just berating Inko with questions. Asking you, like, wait, why won't you let me go back to UA? How comes? Because it's dangerous. The more questions he asks her, the more pissed he can tell she's getting. Until she yells, and a wave of energy just blows Izuku back. Inko's sporting the golden blonde hair. Izuku, obviously, he is shocked. <laughs> you can do that too? I thought you were... <sighs> Damn it. Okay. Yes, yes, I can do that too. But, you see... Yeah, my quirk isn't telekinesis. I mean, it is, but there's more to it than that. Remember those stories I used to tell you about the king, the grunt, and the, you know, the berserker? The kind berserker? Yes. What about? Those weren't just stories. What? You see, me... And you are from... We're Saiyans. What's... What's that? Intergalactic space pirates. Well, turned warriors after some unpleasantness. But still. Um... Wait, so... Is there a reason why... I haven't trained in a while? Is that why? Uh, as yeah, she, he sees that she's getting a little, a little woozy. Just wondering, wait, what's wrong? I'm just hungry. That's all. Uh, hungry. But you've never been one to eat so much. So. At least not around you. I I had hoped that your genetics wouldn't kick in, but I guess anger works as a good trigger for it. <sighs> as yes, Izuku falls and goes to her room. She pushes buttons, and this huge wall of food just opens up. As he watches Inko devour everything that's there. So there's not even a crumb left of him just looking in utter shock, horror, and somewhat amazement at the pure hunger that Inko has been hiding for so long. <laughs> okay. Tell me more about these Saiyans. Well, like I said before, we were intergalactic space pirates who would, you know, sell planets to people. Well, that is after the residence vacated. What? Yeah. We would honestly uh, either kill off the the inhabitants or if anything persuade them to leave but 
Mom, that's... Uh, hey, I've never done it. It was something our ancestors did. Okay, so what about the... The stories? Well... You're the descendant of the Berserker, dear. <coughs> Mom? <sighs> you should have told him a long time ago, Inko. Uh, uh, but wait, recovery girl. Yeah, I guess. I'm your grandma. Inko didn't want to tell you because he was worried that, if anything, you would be somewhat fanboying out. What well, we, I, I, uh, I, I got some questions. Yes, but are you serious? Yes. You see, your great grandfather was the berserker the kind gentle berserker he didn't want to fight he didn't like fighting but when he did he was quite the sight not something you would really wish to piss off you could say it was a real terrifying Yet, wondrous thing to see. What you said, great grandfather, so. Yeah. Yes. So, can you. No, I can't. I'm. I'm not a Saiyan. Your grandfather was. Until he. What? What what happened? Yeah. Let's just say he's the reason why we are no longer in our universe. Or at least it's thanks to him that we're safe. Uh, what do you mean by that? You, you see. He's a good. My. Our. Family is very complicated. There, there's a lot of layers in which. We don't know how things could turn out if people learn about us. Or at least about you and Inko. I mean, your great grandfather is long dead, but. Huh. So, what can Saiyans do exactly? Well, besides flying and things like that, they are very, very gifted fighters. They are battle geniuses, you could say. Their analytical minds, their ways to adapt, and using anger as a catalyst for to search new heights in power. It's quite something. Huh. So, wh wh what's with the golden hair? Super Saiyans. I was very surprised when I saw my daughter his hair turned from green to blonde, however, but, uh, hey, you, you can't be mad at me for, no, uh, sticking up for a friend, and uh, that Miski girl was always going to be a, a issue when it came to, uh, Either way. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter. Now that you know, 
Now what? I I want to get to know the other side of me. Wait, what? So you're not freaking out or anything? You just... Yeah, I want to know our history and everything, but... Seriously. So, wait, how's... Does this mean that our ancestors were literally able to destroy a planet? Yes. And it, through one of their fights, they actually ripped a hole in space-time and started fighting in another dimension entirely? Yes. This mean? Wait, am I gonna have to grow a tail? I, I don't know. That's a good question, Mom. It, it, Mom, it, is he? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, you had one, but we had to cut it off due to your moon thing, so... <laughs> If anything, luckily he wasn't born with one, but as far as gaining one, I doubt that could happen, but it's always a possibility, you know. Uh, oh dear. Yuzuku, as soon as you gain a tail, you will have to tell us. You know that. But, but why? Because uh, if, if you look at the full moon, you turn into a great ape and lose control and destroy God knows how many buildings and kill so many people. Trust me, a great ape is not something you wish to turn into unless you are fully in control of it. I never got a grasp of it because they repeatedly cut my tail off. Wait, repeatedly? They grow back? Uh, I think you reach a certain power level. They don't technically grow back, but... Wait, what do you mean by power level? Explain this. Have you ever looked... Wait, here's a better example. Right now, I can sense how strong you are. In which, yes, you are fairly powerful. You're still new to this, so you're not really as strong as me yet, but... What? Wait, that explains why I got blown back, but wait, you're stronger than me? Yes. Uh, wow. Wait. Compared to... My great grandfather, how strong are you actually? Well, I'm least capable of blowing up the moon. I know that much. I can easily take out a chunk of the earth. You're serious? Oh, yes. Don't you remember the story about the pervy hermit? I do. That, y y yeah, that, yeah, that I do. Wait. Yeah, that's right. You told me that he blew up the moon. Yep. To prevent the uh, ape boy from turning into a gorilla. A rampaging gorilla. Remember? Yeah. Oh my god, you tell me all that was real. All that happened. Yes. All of that happened. So. Wow. Um. So. The story. With the. Tyrannical. Tyrant. The one with the. Bioengineers, soldiers, and all that. Every story you ever told me as a kid, either as a warning or as just 
a way to get me to go to sleep or whatnot. Those were real. Yes. Huh. But, man, if we're this powerful, what are we doing here again? It's because we are very dangerous. And if we are not careful, we could easily destroy this planet if you get enough anger to work with. What? Oh, yes. One saying is more than enough to conquer a planet. <laughs> If anything, this is pretty much just a second Earth. What? Wait, but didn't Grandma just say universe? Like, yeah, someone used the Dragon Balls, at least the super ones, to make another one for us. See, we want to live particularly in harmony, but then we arrive with this world of quirks and things evolve and change and you see it it, it gets weird huh. but so um now what well you gotta keep the whole you being a saying uh part secret you know Hmm. Wait, does this mean we can survive in space? <sighs> You're serious? Yeah. For a time, yes. At least, I had never really tried much after, you know. What? Hey, don't, don't look, don't look at me like that. I don't really go flying, considering that's not why I have labeled as my quirk. <sighs> but after that display of your power, I'm pretty sure people are going to be suspicious. Oh, oh, no, that's right, that's right, that's right. I can't believe I did that. I, I, I'm sorry. No, no, it's not your fault. It's whoever decided to piss you off's fault. Oh, I wonder how they're doing. You seem to have found yourself quite the successor. Toshi. Yeah. He's exceeded my expectations. Indeed, I can see that. Seems like you, you didn't know he would do that. You, you won't fool me. I know you, you figured out that he was special. It's not like you just picked him because he had a heroic heart or something, right? You must have realized his, he had a strong quirk like that. Uh, he was quirkless before. What? No, 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 no. That's not possible. Because, is he your son? No. That would be even more foolish, giving the, such a burden to one of my kin. <sighs> so, if he was quirkless, and he should have the powers you have, does that mean you could? No. Wait, why are you just probing me for information? Just making conversation. Uh, I must say, your successor seems to be doing very well. I mean, I just set mine on a pretty good path, I believe. 
Yes. My master's grandchild. Indeed. I just really want to thank you. Oh, for what? Why? For failing to save someone. I wouldn't have had him. If... <laughs> if heroes didn't fail him. All my being pissed and just storming out. So, what do you know? Well, wait until you hear this.